Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 3rd of July, we've got seven fantastic ITV races at Haydock and Sandown. The ground drying out quickly at both tracks. I think it's going to be pretty much perfect. It was a lot softer at Sandown earlier in the week and at Haydock, but the weather forecast has dried out a bit, uh, so conditions should be pretty much perfect. No excuses. We start off with our value angle selection in the 150 at Sandown. This is the Coral Charge, a Group 3 Sprint. And this has got a particularly open look to it, and I really like Stone of Destiny, who looks a big price here at 10 to 1. Now, this useful sprinter was a very big eye catcher last time out at Royal Ascot behind Oxted in the King's Stand. A brutally fast run race that. And Stone of Destiny was soon slowly away and struggling in rear, but he ran on really strongly. If you watch him in the last hundred yards, he flew over the line. I think he's tailor made for Sandown. It's a track up the inside of the course at the East Avenue and it's got a stiff uphill finish. They often go too hard and stop. And I think Stone of Destiny with Oisin Murphy books can come through late if he sees any data. Obviously, there's risks attached, but you're getting 10 to 1 to your money. I think it's a very fair price. For our nap of the day, we go to the 335. This is the Coral Eclipse, the feature of the day. Group 1 over 1 mile 2. A brilliant race with a deep history. I'm keen here on Mishrif of John and Tady Gosden. Now, this globe-trotting money spinner showed a fantastic attitude when winning the Shima Classic at Maidan in March. If you watch that run back he had a wide trip throughout he had to make up his ground into the heat of the race he kept pulling out more it was a fantastic display and i think he could be a class above these completely different form lines to his market rivals like st mark's basilica i think the drying grounds come in his favor he comes here fresh laid out for the race by his red hot yard and i'll be disappointed if he's beaten now on to the other five races on itv starting with the 205 at haydock a competitive one mile six handicap sponsored by bet365 i'm going to stick with contact here now david barron's progressive handicapper is well up in class here but not many horses managed to do what he did last time at pontifrat coming from last to first um, and that was a really impressive display okay it was a northern handicap he's up in the weights and up in class well, i think there's more to come he's very much thrived since his stamina was drawn out back to sandown for the 225 a competitive mile handicap i'm going to stick with pythagoras here to win for the north now richard far his useful handicap shaped really well last time out at royal ascot behind fox's tail if you stop the run the race two furlongs out he was still on the bridle on the soft ground there but he just got very tired well beaten in the end but drop back to a mile here better ground paddy mathers book should go really close the 240 at haydock the lancashire oaks a group two over one mile four i'm gonna take stick with alpinista here for some mark prescott's four-year-old filly was hardly impressive when winning in a muddling small field and a seasonal reappearance at goodwood last time out but i think she's a lot better than that nothing much happens quickly she's a typical prescott horse the long flat straight at haydock and a positive ride i think she'll be extremely hard to get past back at sandown for the three o'clock, the Coral Distaff, a listed race over a mile statement for me here with Ryan Moore, a very eye-catching booking. Martin Mead's horses are going well. Uh, he's not having a lot of luck. He's having a lot of seconds, but they're all running well. And this useful filly is worth excusing an expensive defeat at Epsom last time out. I don't think she handled the track there. You can always forgive a run there. And this track should suit her better. It's a much more galloping track on decent eased ground. There should be more to come. I like the fact, by the way, that she ran once at Sandown as a juvenile. So she's got experience of this track. And that was good form in second behind creative flair back to haydock for the last one on itv the 315 the old newton cup a handicap with a rich history over a mile four now midnight's legacy of alan king is completely exposed but he's running really well at the moment and i liked his win at epsom last time out where he overcame a bit of trouble in running Love the fast pace. They're going to go a right gallop here. There's loads of front runners. I hope they'll cut their throats and this one can win again, come through fast and late. Best of luck with all seven ITV races on Saturday, betting experts.